Today, we're gonna make breakfast tacos. You're like, I've been to Austin. I know what a breakfast taco is. Well, this one, you're gonna make your own homemade tortillas, but instead of tortillas, which are tedious and time consuming, we're gonna use scallion pancake technique, which takes that much time. In these scallion pancakes, we're seasoning every layer. Like the tortilla itself is usually this big thing of flour and it kind of takes down all the acidity and it takes down all the salt stuff. What we're doing is we're gonna be adding a ton of flavor into our tortilla that's resting off to the side and then boom, layer, 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 layer of flavor. All you're gonna need, two cups of flour. Goes in a food processor, because we have the technology. Pinch of salt, flip the top on, pulse it a couple times, we're gonna mix that salt in. All you're gonna need then is two cups of boiling water. Don't pour your boiling water super high like this, but I'm just doing it because I want you to see. I'm sacrificing my safety for your viewing pleasure. So you're just gonna slowly drizzle this hot water in. See that dough is kind of wrapping around the uh, blade there? That's what we want. Flour here, bench flour. Scoop it, put it down. You're just gonna knead it for about a minute. You're gonna put it in a bowl and you're gonna cover it and you're gonna set it to the side for about 20, 30 minutes. Right there, 30 second dough, right? If you got someone sleeping in the other room, you can be like, I'm gonna make a little something. So our filling is going to be bacon. Take the fat after you're done and reserve it. Because we're gonna use this bacon fat to laminate the dough, which is gonna make them super flaky. Scallions, because this is a scallion pancake, they go in your bowl. Dough's been resting. So we're gonna form it in a ball. We're gonna divide it in pieces. You're gonna paint it with bacon fat. Take that corner right here and roll it up like you're making a little tube. And then what this is doing is this is creating layers and layers and layers. So each one of those rolls, right, is a layer. So you got one, two, three, four, five layers by itself. Now you take the ends, twist it together, like you're making a cinnamon roll, tuck the ends, and guess what's gonna happen? Boom, bacon fat. And it'll help keep the layers separate because the layer of fat between the dough is flakiness. Get it all over yourself so people know you're working hard. We're gonna drizzle a little bit of scallions in and then some of the bacon. Take the edges, same thing. You'll have little rogue guys coming out, that's fine. And we're gonna mash it all down again. Look at that. See all that stuff in there? That is gonna be flavor compounded. Also, if I see these at Smorgasburg or whatever, your local blah, 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 hipster, you, everyone makes stuff and there's no room to sit down anywhere and you have to stand eating up out of plastic cartons, I'm coming for you. This is mine. All right, let's cook these up. Pan on, butter goes in the hot pan. And it's not too hot because we don't want to burn the butter. And you just cook them till they're GBD. Golden, brown, delicious. So you do this, the person who you don't know their name of is still asleep in your bed, or you're, you're, maybe they're asleep, I don't know. However you wanna play this scenario. But this starts wafting. Maybe the first bacon cook got them. But this, the smell of butter, the smell of breads and doughs cooking, bacon, scallions, this is like, here. You smell that? That was a nice little move for the smell, even though we both know it's not gonna happen. Now we're gonna work on our little toppings. So red onion, super thin on your mandolin. You can use your knife. Ah. The outer layers of it have this color, and we're just gonna get that color to bleed, right? Which is gonna turn the onions this bright pinkish red. And how we're gonna do that is simply by taking a lime, squeezing it, over, and you saw I put a pinch of salt in there as well. Take a lid, stick it on. We're gonna repeat the process with our radishes, and the thinner you do these, the faster that I'll discolor. Pinch of salt, lime, lid. Take these in the fridge. Now you got your Fresnos. You can just take one or two and just slice them Six eggs, two per tortilla. We're just gonna scramble them. Drop those eggs in. 
I'm just gonna take a little spoonful and add Mexican crema in there. That's also gonna help it retain the moisture and it makes these eggs silky, smooth. Oh look, a plate with a taco stand. How'd that even get here? Take this guy, we'll do a plate up of one. Can you hear that? Can you hear the flakiness? It's like, it's a beautiful thing. Eggs go in. If anything in life, learn how to properly scramble an egg. So you see how these onions colored and these radishes colored? We'll take a little bit of our onions. So I want color differentiation. So I'm gonna do a little cilantro. I got my radishes. Here's our Fresnos. And then we're gonna finish with a little cotija. I swear to you, these breakfast tacos will rival any other breakfast taco there is. I'm quitting right now. I'm opening up a little stand. I'm gonna open up a tent. I'm gonna make a million dollars selling this one thing. Boom. Finish your dish. But there you have the results of a brown butter candle. <laughs>